Hey besties, we're in the kitchen. My older bro was out west and oh gosh, <laughs> he was out west and he has some friends who have a sheep barn with blue face Lester. And since I am celebrating finally being negative for COVID, yes, cheers. And I'm able to stay awake for more than a couple of hours at a time. He brought by some fleece. So my bro loves me. So he got me a fleece and then I purchased two more. So this is the one that he got me. And this is Maisie, who's a two year old blue faced, blue -faced Lester U. This is gorgeous. So they just wash up like a small sample so you can see what you're getting. Look how pretty that is. This is going to be lock spun. I cannot break up those curls. Look how gorgeous that is. So this is just a little over a pound of fleece. But look at the curls. Aren't they gorgeous? Like they're tight little curls. Once I wash this up, like, it's a very high lambling fleece, that's for sure. But once I wash this up, this is going to spin into, like, the best lock spun yarn. It's going to be simply amazing. So we're going to wash this one, but I wanted to show you the two fleeces I purchased. Now, they came from Quarter Acre Woods Ranch. There's their little thingy. And I was emailing with them because since Ian was there anyways, and shipping is ridiculous here, I'm just gonna turn the camera so we stop getting that adjusting for the backlight of this. You can look at my cupboards instead in my microwave. <laughs> so I was emailing with uh, the people at the ranch and um, it's early out there for them to be uh, shearing sheep because they're up north out west so um they hadn't done their spring shear yet but they said like if you want a couple of fleeces we can just haul in a couple of sheep and shear them so i was like oh i take a colored fleece and a white fleece so they did so this one is augusta and it is a four-year-old you and this is what it looks like washed up. Look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? And look at the length of the staples on these. Like crazy, right? So this one is a four pound fleece. Which is right here. This is Augusta. So we have all of that fleece to wash too. And then we got Mika. <laughs> Mika is huge. Mika is six pounds and it is a yearling BFLU. Now, look at the color variations. It goes from chocolate brown black to these lighter grays. And look at the length of the staple on these sheep. <laughs> look at it. It's crazy. I love it. It's so soft. Oh, blue, 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 blue. BFL is like my favorite fleece. And I am so excited to have a new source for BFL fleeces. <laughs> so this six pound baby can you see the variations in color here we have the dark and then we have some lighter chocolates and grays and just everything and there's six pounds in here like it's huge look at how dark chocolate that is it's gorgeous and the crimp the oh gorgeous now, I haven't done a spring test on it, but I suspect it doesn't need one. I'm not seeing anything of concern. Snap test. All good. And so long. 
Like this is, oh, I am so excited. <laughs> so I'm going to contain myself because I am still healing and I am prone to sudden naps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the gift fleece that my brother got for me. So this is Maisie and a little over a pound. So I'm going to get some water heated and we're going to wash up Maisie. So maybe tomorrow I can get to lock spinning because this, this crimp right here is going to make for amazing lock spun yarn. Just simply incredible. Oh, do I want to dye it though? Maybe we'll dye half and we'll leave half white, spin it, and then dye it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to get the water heating so we can wash it. We got to get that done first before we can do anything else. So I will be back. Hang tight. Okay. It is time to bust into my new bottle. The Unicorn Power Scour because I think I used up all my last stuff. And if I didn't, I don't know where I put it. So, you know, whatever. We need to open the new bottle. Oh, wait. What did I do with the old bottle? It's right here. All right, I'll just make sure that's good and tight. Okay, and I have my half tablespoon. So I have my kettle going here, and then I have one going on the stove too, so that we can get all the water done. Wet, wet, yeah, heated, because water is always wet. Don't mind me, I'm still a little sick in the head. But, I'm gonna get this piece open. So we can see what we've got. Ooh. Come on over and have a look. So here is Maisie. Look at how glorious that is. Like the crimp is so fine on this. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Now, it's a high lanolin fleece. That's what you're seeing there is. Um, it's got a lot of lanolin, so the dirt is sticking to it. But that is going to wash up beautifully. Look at it. This is amazing. Now, is it all going to fit in my pot? Becomes the question. And still have room to move around enough to get cleaned. Yeah. It's packed in pretty tight in there, so I don't think I want to do that on this side. Split it up. But what if I use my big pan and spread it out this way? No, I think we're going to have to split it into two batches just to make sure that we can uh, get it clean enough. Okay. So, we're going to start with this one. And we're going to wash up in this pan. And then we can also dye in this pan. Just kind of spreading it out. because I don't plan to comb this at all. I want to spin it straight from the lock. There is like no veggie matter in this. Like it's crazy clean. Like anything that's in there is just like fine, fine debris that you're not even going to notice. But I'm like squeezing it. I'm not feeling any seeds or hay or chaff. This is gorgeous, gorgeous fleece. So we'll do up the pan first and then we will do the pot and get this all washed up okay so this is how much we're gonna put in the pan I'm gonna take it out for now because I gotta put the hot water in first Those 
two kettles heat up. That should be more than enough water for the first round. So I think what I'm going to do, dump that piece out. I'm going to get a pot of water on the stove and get that heating too. All right. So we're going to start with Whole tablespoon of power scour. Now this has been thickening forever. So a tablespoon is gonna work out probably a lot more than that, but this is a high land length, so we we'll wanna make sure we get all that scoured out. Oh yeah, that's good and warm. Alright, let's plop this in. Look at it, instant. <laughs> okay, my other kettle's boiling, hold on. All right. So we're gonna give that 10 minutes, I think. And while that's soaking, I'm going to get my big pot on the stove and get that heating. We're going to turn this, start the second one in here, so we can get the second bath going. My kitchen smells like sheep. And the good news is, I can smell. I did lose my sense of smell for about five days. Could not smell a thing. It was the strangest thing ever. I was like sniffing everything I could find. Couldn't smell a thing. So this way we could get this one. And we can get a second pot cooking. I'm going to have to buy another one of these kettles just to keep up. I love them. Fantastic. All right, so we got about another five minutes on this soap. Look at it. <laughs> That's some uh, Genji water. I love it when a plan works out. It's just lifting it all right out of there. I probably should have done a free soap, but I didn't. All right. So there's our second bath. And into that one. Gonna add half a tablespoon of scour. And I'm also gonna get my salad spinner because we're gonna spin the dirt out of that. Salad spinner! We're gonna spin the dirt out before we put it in the second half. It's just a thing with me. I'm gonna have to dig up my big salad spinner as I get processing. All right, so we're gonna take this pan and Salad 
I'm letting the hot water run so it's washing all that gook in the grain. Of that gooky water out, and we're gonna drop it into bath number two. It's already looking so much better. why I like to solid spin all of my fleeces. Can you see how much of that gook that I get out of it before I put it into the second bag? Alright, let's do a test. We'll give it a squeeze. We'll squeeze out most of that water. Then we're going to pop it in our salad spinner. But that's a quick spin in the salad spinner. Let's get it a little more balanced. Woohoo! And still, not much more water came out. So that's less dirty water that we're putting into the second bath. And one last handful. So we give it a squeeze, then we drop it in our salad spinner. And give her a spin. And that's how much more geeky water we get out of it than just squeezing. Now mind you, this is just a little handful. So. Easy to squeeze a lot. All right, so now we'll give it 10 minutes in the second bath. Hiya! Don't do that! Just push that all under the surface. All right. So over here, I've got that stock pot here. And it is just about boiling. So I'm going to use this as my rinse water for my final pan, my pan here, because it's doing its second wash. I'm going to toss it in there to rinse, and then I'll pull that out. I'll add some more power scour, and I'll use it as the first wash for this batch. It's just a way to kind of reuse your water. And I might save that second bath depending on how black it is, for the second scour on this other chunk here too. And then just use a fresh bath for the rinse. Just going to, I'm just gonna fish out of this water because I may still be able to use it. You're gonna see how gooky it is. Yeah, it's pretty black. The 
Look at how nice this fleece has come up. Oh, it still looks pretty brown in this light, but trust me, it is a very nice white. And I'm just going to drop that into the pot on the stove for a rinse. Okay. We're not using this. Swap. Jason, Jason, bring the basin. Swap, bring them up. That in the rinse water. Like, here's your comparison, all right? That's how it looked to start. <laughs> Can you see that? So it's coming up really nice and clean. So while that is doing that, I'm gonna make a dye bath for that fleece. So, um, our pan, some hot water. acid to our hot water. Maybe a quarter cup. Just that in. got periwinkle and vivid violet and I'm going to use about one gram of each <laughs> here's the difference washed unwashed look how pretty that came out all right let's get this in the dye bath The periwinkle slide. And here goes the vivid violet. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. I'm feeling better. I am going to go out and get myself some supper. So we will be back to check on how our dye bath is doing after I have eaten supper. So this is supper intermission. Woohoo! And I'm back with a big full belly of Putin so Canadian. So when I got back, I noticed as usual, the Vivid Violet is not exhausting. So I threw in a braid of Icelandic. I left it in a braid, just tossed it in. And I'm going to let that soak up the rest of that color, if it will, because that Vivid Violet just does not like to exhaust. So in the meantime, we're going to haul out all of this. And get it on to wash. And because of stupid COVID, I am exhausted. So I'm going to wash this up and then I will do the rest of the fleece tomorrow. 
here we go our fiber is mostly dry there's a couple of little damp spots but nothing serious look at those colors though oh and look at the crimp like this is going to make gorgeous locksman yarn so i'm going to get to doing that i just put you on time lapse so you can watch look at Look at how gorgeous it is. Oh, I'm so excited. I just can't wait to get spinning. All right, let's get to it. Thank you. 
And it's done. I'm so happy with how this turned out. And it is so soft. It's like poofy and fluffy and soft. And it's got all this texture and these colors. And oh, I'm just so happy with it. But now I have completely worn myself out. <laughs> I do not have a whole lot of energy as of yet. So I am going to go take a nap. And when I wake from that, then I will probably edit these videos and upload them. I am recovering, guys. Don't worry. It's just taking a little while, as it does with COVID. So hopefully you enjoyed this little adventure with this gift of fleece from my brother. He's so sweet, too. And I shall see you in the next one. Be well. Bye.